Take the power supply that came with this stage and this series of cables and looking closely at the instructions, okay, on page 153 in the placement and the positions of the cables. Okay, so first of all, take one of the yellow cables and you'll notice that as you look at the connector, you've got the bottom of the connector and you've got a tiny little dimple just here, okay? making sure that when you put that in, that dimple is facing upwards. So undo the connector, the screw, place the connector into its position and then gently tighten that up. Do exactly the same. With the next connectors, so you have yellow, yellow, and then green. So you've got one yellow in the live, the other in the neutral, and then the green is in the earth symbol, okay? On the other cable, you have the other two ends, you have a red and you have a black. The black, goes in to the com, beside the green, like so, and the red goes into the plus V, which is the third from the end, like so. Now get your ID box and pull the two red and the two black thick cables through the side, noticing the position, okay? And then connect the two red cables into the end as per your instructions. And we'll undo these and place those in. So we take the two red ones, Gently tighten those up, then undo the other two, and then place the black connectors in there, and then once again tighten those up. Now, rotate the power supply and carefully push that through the side, bringing up any cables that are underneath out of the way. Place that flat on the base and then turning the ID box over on its side, secure the power supply with the four provided screws as you can see here, here, here and here. Next connect the earth and the two yellow cables to the power cable also shown in the following photograph. And also, if any of the connectors are loose, just use a pair of pliers just to gently squeeze the connector, as shown in the following photograph. And then, once you've done that, take the remaining connectors that we 
we have here and then connect one of the fans to one end and take the other connector from the other fan to the other end like so and then tidy up the cabling so that the cabling is out of the way and that completes this stage.